you have to be exhausted after this process. How long of a process is this for you? I mean, realistically, it was one and a half years, but that had several uh, uh, reasons. I mean, we started um, with a script that needed some work, and then we went and scouted in, in Prague to find uh, the right locations, and then obviously the whole casting uh, situation. And then we shot, um, I think, three and a half months in, in Prague, and then obviously was the whole post-production that got quite lengthy because of all the visual effects. Yeah. Uh, because you do first cut the movie uh, with only a post with and previous stuff, and then you have the visual effects stuff. And then finally you have like sound and music and all those things, and it feels like it's a long time, but as well it feels uh, like you never finish it. It's, it's like I, somebody said once you never finish a movie you have to abandon it <laughs> because you never feel like it's done. So that's definitely, you know, true. Like if you could get in there right now. Oh you'd yeah, still, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. yeah. Absolutely. You'd absolutely. Still be tweaking. But there is a time where it's just like, okay, that's it because there's a delivery and there were like actually pretty strict uh, schedule because of the different uh, releases everywhere in the world uh, where they needed a film in time uh, first of all for the 3D conversion, but then as well for all the um, different language versions. Oh, wow. So it was, at some point, it was just like, okay, hands off, that's it. What, was this, what was this like for you to be uh, folded into the Unworld family? It's somehow not completely unlike uh, folding into a, a running um, tele episodic television thing, because there is something... Uh, there's a, a set of rules and a, let's say a, a, a vision that is there and you want to stay with that, you want to keep that and yet you want to bring what you can bring to it uh, for that particular uh, episode or movie or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, it was, it was, it was exciting uh, but as well of course it's always, um, you know, daunting in the way that you do want to keep uh, what makes the underworld, underworld or yeah. another, whatever. Uh, but as well, you need to define for yourself what is it within that that is important for you to keep, uh, important to you to emphasize on. What was your overall vision, if you can uh, put that in a nutshell for us? Is to come back to the roots of underworld. Um, uh, which actually was quite intriguing to me because there was a pretty bold, strong vision out there, uh, a pretty strong look as well. And um, what I loved about it is there is this mythology and there is this idea that this is an ancient uh, story that keeps going and going and going. So those were elements that I really liked about it and it was character driven. Like if you look at the beginning of Underworld 1, it was quite a character driven piece. Um, despite the fact that we're talking about action, but there was definitely character. And it, f it felt to me, looking how it evolved, uh, underworld, that that was something uh, worth uh, and important to kind of find again. Made in Hollywood. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Made in Hollywood TV. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And for the next awesome video, click right here. Click in that box right there, right there. Super easy.